Here is the Schedule C, profit or loss from business, which looks like an income statement, having income minus the expenses. Okay, so let's get into what you need to know about federal taxes. So I, I know what I need to know about self-employment. Bosses are no fun. I don't like bosses. That's all I need to know. Okay, we have, to, we have some other stuff for tax-related self-employment uh, Schedule C businesses we need to know as well including note the following is a list of questions you may need to answer so you can fill out your federal income tax return so this will kind of go and coincide with some of the presentations that we will be building which of course are coming from uh, and designed around this publication so the chapters are given to help you find the related discussion in this publication so questions that will commonly come to mind that the IRS is trying to put out in front of us when we're thinking about being a business, a sole proprietor, possibly reporting our income on a Schedule C. Remembering this is very difficult for most people, especially if we are starting as a W-2 employee and moving then to a self-employed situation. Because for taxes, the government has kind of trained us almost intentionally not to think about taxes so it's also almost like a passive activity for us at this time if we've mainly been working as a w-2 employee why because the employer is the one that the government has leverage over and can basically say hey look employer if you want a deduction for your employees we want you to not only report to us with a w-2 form and to the employee how much they have earned so we can make sure to double check and go after their income tax that they report on the form 1040 but we also want you to withhold the money and hopefully withhold too much money right so that we can try to try to aim for a refund and therefore most people think of kind of like it's almost like the employer is the bad guy that's taking your money and then the government is the good guy because they give you a return of your money because they over withheld because that's how the system is kind of uh, set up when we move to from having an employer to being self-employed 